Hey guys, and happy Wednesday. So, y'all, I have just been in a season where God is calling me to trust him and to just lean on him and rely on him. And that means like pruning and and getting rid of things and getting rid of die die getting rid of dry branches and and dead things in my life. And so the other day I was cleaning up my closet. And so the other day I was getting rid of a bunch of clothes that my ex bought me. I was going through my closet and I was making a pile of things and I was just like, okay, God, it's been going back and forth. I've been going back and forth with it for like a really long time because I just, they're some of my favorite pieces just to be 100% honest. Like they are some of my favorite church skirts, some of my favorite outfit um, pieces, combinations, just whatever. Some stuff still has tags on it, which is crazy. But I literally, I got to this one piece and it's not even, it wasn't even anything expensive. It's like this burgundy, like long uh, thing you can like throw over. Um, it's on my bed. And I went to go put it in the pile and I was like, oh God, I love this piece. <laughs> and it reminded me of the, um, What's it called? It reminded me of that meme with Jesus and the little girl with the little raggedy teddy bear and his nice new one behind, you know, his back. And she's holding on to the raggedy one like, but God, I love it. <laughs> That's what I felt like when I had that the shirt in my hand. And I just put it in the pile. Um, and I keep finding things and I just keep throwing it in the pile, throwing it in the pile. But it was really hard for me to get rid of things because I was like, oh gosh, I really like this stuff. But it just reminded me that so many times in our lives, God is trying to replace things or trying to give us better or trying to upgrade us in certain areas, but we will not let go of the old stuff. Like we won't prune the dry things. We won't get rid of the dead. We'll sit there and walk around with the dead branches falling off and, and filtering and, and falling to the ground, but we won't just sit there and prune them ourselves because it, it, it hurts too much and it and it feels too bad to separate ourselves or to get rid of things. But God will always provide us with the upgrade. I just want to encourage anyone who is in a season where they are afraid of letting things go or purging things or getting rid of people, getting rid of whatever it is that is cluttering up your life that is causing you to not be able to move forward or to step ahead. Because when you look at a tree, right, and when you see a tree that is dying or it's dead and you see the branches falling off and or you see a rose bush and it has like all these little dead creatures I watch my friend prune her bushes all the time and when you're pruning sometimes and when you're cutting away the branches and when you're cutting away the bushes and when you're when you're trying to shape them up and get rid of all the dead stuff it might not look that great in the beginning and it might look a little bare and a little desolate and a little little dry and a little you know just not very cute but when you come back to that same rose bush in a couple of weeks it'll have like beautiful new roses and it'll have beautiful new flowers and it'll just have a whole new life and that's what God does with us when he's pruning us when he's getting rid of things when he's making sure that we get rid of the old dead stuff like he's not doing that to make us uncomfortable or to make us feel a certain type of way because we might feel like that prune bush we might feel unattractive we might feel ugly we might feel bare we might feel dry we might feel alone but in a few weeks or months or whenever God's timing is you will then be like that beautiful bush you know what I'm saying like we have to trust him um, when he is telling us because he didn't tell me to get rid of anything he's done that in the past he didn't tell me to it was he was like it's your choice you can get rid of it or you can keep it it's up to you but I just feel like in this season of my life, I had to get rid of everything um, that was connected to that relationship. Like I even I have our freaking, our mission statement we wrote for our family um, when we were in marriage prep. And I was like, that's where the getting rid of things actually started before the close. Cause I was like, why do I have this? Like, what do I, this, I don't need to have this anymore. But yeah, if anyone else is like me and they're in a season where they just feel like God is pruning them and, and, and preparing them for whatever is next and whatever is ahead, um, just trust him. So many times, like, 
we are holding on to old stuff and we were holding on to to dead things dead relationships dead friendships um whatever it is in your life at your a job whatever it is that we are holding on to that is dead like we are holding on to it so tight that god cannot bless us he cannot do anything for us because we are guarding it and we are holding on to it so tight that he he's not going to pry it out of our hand like he's not going to take it from us also with like tithing like when we i know when i have like more money it's easier for me to tithe i be like hey there you go because i know where my next is coming from but like this season i'm in right now i'm just like oh jesus i'm still tithing but it's like Oh Lord, like, and I, I can't be that way. Like, I can't be nervous that if I tithe my 10%, that I'm not going to reap the reward because he can't bless us if our hands are so tight and so closed that we are not allowing um, him to move in our lives. Like when we're so tight and so close, like we're guarding our heart, we're guarding our things, we're 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 holding on so tight to, to the stuff that we we deem is precious and valuable. And God is like, that stuff means nothing to me. Like you can that 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 stuff mm-hmm. is all fleeting. You can get rid of those things in a minute, but do you have me? Do you have the things that I want for you? The things that I want for your life? The things that I want to bless you with? Like, he wants to bless us so much more than we can think or imagine, but we're sitting here holding on to these little scraps, and he's like, seriously, son? Seriously, daughter? You can't let me get that shirt? (laughs) You can't let me get that relationship? That friendship? That job? Like, Seriously, that kid, like, give me your kid. I had this recently. I was like, Lord, Christian is yours. He is your child. You trusted me with him, but he is yours ultimately. And God is doing amazing things. And I'm like, whew, thank you, Jesus, because he is your kid and he is not mine. But for a long time, I was. I was holding on so tight because it's like, well, this is my kid. And I have to protect him. I have to make sure. I have to make sure this is happening. He needs to do this and he needs to do that. And I'm sitting here doing this, putting a fence around him. And God's like, no, <laughs> let him go. He's grown. Let him go. Um, always be there, but let him go, you know? So um i don't know i just feel like a lot of us do this and i know i'm not by myself when it's hard to get rid of things or people or to just you know uh let go of stuff and um i just want to encourage anyone else who's having trouble in this area to just let it go whatever it is that god is telling you to let go let it go peace out and I guarantee you, he will provide you with an upgrade. He will provide you with something 10 times better than what it is you are trying to hold on to. Because nine times out of 10, we're holding on to some stuff that we don't need to be holding on to. We're holding on to some crap, some things, stuff in our past, um, resentment, uh, shame, guilt, fear, all those things we're holding on to. God's like, just give me, give me, give me give me just give it to me <laughs> and we're like but it's what defines me it's what i lean on it's what i cling to i cling to my self pity stories i cling to my fear of success i cling to the things that are holding me back and god's like just give me that kid but yeah so just be encouraged to um let go let god God can. Hey, I haven't worn a sweatshirt in such a long time. My clothes will be in my Poshmark closet too. (laughs) So if you would like to take a gander, um, there will be some things on there. I'm a Poshmark closet. And um, yeah, I don't know. Just allow God to do what he's trying to do in your life. I know it's hard for a lot of us. So I hope you are blessed in this good Wednesday and just let go of what it is that God wants you to let go. And I will talk to y'all tomorrow with my another my another with my other DIY donation. So, if you haven't gotten your donation DIY in, hit me up. You can cash at me, you can Venmo me, you can go directly to the site and just put in the comments what you want me to do for the DIY. Okay? Um so yeah, happy Wednesday. I love y'all and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.